Well, guys, it's episode three of Halloween Horror Themed Marathon. Um, this one, this one right here. Yeah, I did. All I already did a review on this like a year ago, but I figured I would give it another watch. This is the second time I've watched this. Um, it's actually this movie doesn't really make me think of how the Halloween or the Halloween season, but. It is a good um, horror film that uh, portrays the the horrors of man and like just it's just it's just a cool horror movie. I I would call it a gem. That the acting is good. Some of the dubbing is off. Um, this movie is about people being persecuted for being uh, involved in witchcraft. Even if they aren't, they're still persecuted. And this takes place in the, the 1700s. And the people who are persecuted are either executed or, or tortured. I mean, to think that that actually happened is it's just awful. So I think this is a good real-life horror film. You know. Yep. I would recommend this movie. It's very graphic. Um... Yeah, it's from Blue Underground, but um, decided to pop this in on the Halloween season. It's uh, made in Austria, I believe. It's an interesting little horror film, and it has Reggie Nalder. He is one of the creepiest, I swear, he's one of the creepiest um, horror stars that I can think of. His face is, his lower lip is like burnt. He kind of looks like Burgess Meredith, and he plays a witch finder. But since I already reviewed this movie, I'm not going to give an in-depth review. But yeah, check out Mark of the Devil. 17th century witch finders persecuting people. It's it's not one that you can... It's kind of one of those movies you watch, you kind of feel depressed after. Yeah, but anyway, that's Mark of the Devil. Check it out. It's a good little um, Austrian horror film. Alright guys, episode that was episode three of the Halloween Horathon.